Hey folks, it's Mark and that's Bob. We're from Fire Mountain Outdoors and Bob got a new AK. We're at the range. We're going to sight it in. We're just going to show a quick little video on how to use the AK sight adjustment tool to dial in your AK-47 or AK-74 like Bob has. Uh, this would also work for a uh, SKS style rifle. So Bob's going to shoot. We're going to get a group and we're going to adjust the front sight. All right, we're going hot. So it's important when you're when you're sighting in your rifle to put this in the correct position to start out with. Now, you can see right here we have a, a one. That's the 100 meter position. And that's what we're going to use. We're actually shooting at uh, 25 meters just to get a start and to get a zero. But we want to start at the 100 meter position for sighting this in. You don't want to be back here. Uh, this is like the battle sight. And this is roughly equivalent to the 300 meter position if you're back here. And that's just a battle uh, a battle position for engaging targets that may be close or may be uh, far away. And just a kind of an average of what you might run into. But we want to actually zero this at 100. So it's important to put that up at the one position like we have here. Okay, so we've got our reference point here. As Mark noted, we are low and we are left. So we're going to bring that over about uh, two and a half inches to the right. And we're going to bring that up about uh, two and a half up. So if we get uh, to right around in here, we'll be happy and then we can move it out further. So we want to make the barrel go to the right and up, which means we want to make the front sight go down and to the left. So we have this little uh, sight tool. This is from uh, Tapco, I believe, and it's it's really the best way to adjust this. It's kind of really just uh, uh, by guess and by golly. Uh, there's some science on there, and while I'm editing, I might uh, post up a link on some instructions on how, what turns might give you what kind of distance at different yardages. But we're just going to ease this over a little bit. So like we think, uh, the cool thing is this is like a little arbor press. It has a hole on this side so that that can drift out, pushes in. And then uh, on this, we know that we need to go down in order to bring the barrel and our point of impact up. So we're going to go clockwise. So we're going to go uh, a scientific... Right about there. And then Bob's going to shoot another group. And we're just going to walk that into a zero and see how we do. Well, as we can see, Mark guessed pretty damn good on the elevation, but we still need to come over to the right. So we're going to crank that over some more. But uh, we're that much closer, so we're going to go one, two, two inches to the right. All right. Well, I just gave it a little gentle nudge last time. We're going to give her a good scoot this time. Oh, that's a good scoot right there. Uh, I think it's going to be right about there. And uh, I could see it move. Bob's going to shoot another group. We'll see how we are. Well, as we can see, uh, Mark's uh, guesstimates are getting us closer. We've actually got one in the bowl now. So I'd say we're about halfway there. So we're going to scooch it over just a bit more. And that should put us right there dead center. You can see that we're getting considerably off center. It's not unusual for uh, AKs or any of these firearms to have a front sight block that's a little bit canted. And so this one, we're having to push it over quite a bit in order to get it dialed in. As you can see, uh, I would say it's over in the left third instead of being in the center third. But... Uh, Hey, if it shoots where we need it to, that's how it is. Let's uh, fire another group, Bob. All right. Okay, I think we're there. Hey, Bob. So we've tested it at 25 yards, and it looks like uh, I can tell from here that you look pretty zeroed. Why don't you go ahead and put another three in and then shoot the 100-yard gong? All right. All right, it's going 100 yards. Going 
going hot. Look at that. Oh. Two out of three ain't bad. At least that's what Meatloaf said. I'd say uh, for a minute of uh, pie pan. That's right. So uh, to conclude that, we would uh, set up a target at 100 yards, and then we'd make those final minute adjustments to get our group in. Uh, as far as a battle weapon and battle sighting, uh, I think it, that is way better than when it started. Right. Uh, and uh, I hope that this explained the mechanics of using this tool. Hey, folks, if you got any of these firearms that need like an AK or a SKS, this is money well spent. Go buy a, a sight adjustment tool so you can take it to the range and you can get your rifle dialed right in. You can't take back a bullet. You never ever want to wish that you could. So follow the four basic safety rules. Stay safe. Shoot straight. We'll catch you on the firing line. Thanks for watching. Hey, like and subscribe. Thank you.